this video we're going to talk a little bit about finding inverses. Basically, I'm going to um, basically we want to solve for the input because we want to swap the input and the output. So instead of writing f of x, I'm going to write y equals 3x minus 4. Um, sometimes you'll you'll hear the technique of swapping the variables and solving for y. I don't do that because you never know our variables might have meaning. All we need to do is solve for x. So I'm going to go through the steps. I'm going to add 4 to both sides and I get y plus 4 equals 3x and I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I now have my inverse function x equals y plus 4 over 3. Now sometimes you'll be asked to give this in inverse notation and inverse of x equals now this variable always has to match the variable in my equation so I'll write it as x plus 4 divided by 3. And so that should be your goal anytime you want to find an inverse. Solve for the input variable.